Welcome to Carol's Diary the Tour. I am Temo Stefano El Shaho. Here is my team Carol's Diary. Level with man don't reach the men and no one war. I can't have my tongue beat that mango sleep for floor. Jovi know the drum, lay sick as I short. To the long, alien Kong, even when I chumbe short. No man no hell at me, I can't have me one. Type of fan that made men, they enter bush, they run. I cook and then I whole pot, hold and suit a hand bun. No be men, they boss back that way, they see say chop done. So, my job... so Jojo, what are we doing today? Alright, so we've got quite a few things to talk about today. Okay. We've got the authenticity of Empire Song Power. Their new song with Tenor Magasco okay. and various other artists. We are also going to talk about Kinaka's blog and whether, well, we actually we know she's gay, but whether she's trying to turn other people to accept it. We have the Lions winning African Cup of Nations. We've got Epule Jeffrey, who was allegedly beaten by another actor. We've got Malox, who was also gay beaten. We have Alpha Beta Records and their success stories of 2017. We also have regional limitations of showbiz. How you can look at the anglophone side and the francophone side and you see two different worlds of showbiz. We have a few marriages. There's Dugsy, who's supposed to be got married as well this year, as well as our very own Dr. Ken Stevens. We are also want to know where are some artists that have labels and then all of a sudden they don't? Just to name a few, there's Nami Nami Cyrus yeah. and there is Pascal, which, well, I guess we'll see where they are now. Okay. Man, it's just crazy. So I saw Power by Magasco, Teno, Loco, and the rest of the people that want the song. An amazing song for 2017. Trust me, the song is amazing. Lyrically, uh, 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 the beats and everything is just all over the place. But I don't get it. A couple of days ago, I was going through YouTube and then I landed on another song that is exactly the same beat and stuff. So I'm wondering what Phil Beats was doing. The song was produced by Phil Beats. So I'm like, dude, uh, you didn't have time to create or uh, what's going on? So I'm going to play the song for you and then you're going to think for yourself. But trust me, this song's right here, same beat, same everything except for the change of key. And that's the song. Listen. Yimo. Yimo. I'm in love with rhythm. Pass me the light. So for copyright reasons, we have decided to just publish the image, a screenshot of the video that we're talking about from YouTube so that you can be able to listen to it because uh, uploading the video, we don't have license to the video so we can upload it, but you can find the link of the video below. A couple of days ago, a friend of mine sent it to me. Okay. And I was like, to it. So I'm like, is it that you slept differently and came up with something new or... Because if it's not copied, it's oversampled, guys. Yes. It's, I mean, even the breaks is well, the same. I kind of yeah. But, but I, like I said, the song's an amazing song, okay? It's an amazing song, but my problem is uh, the industry and producers not trying to play original, okay? We have an identity, we have camera music and stuff. If you want to sample a bit, every day, there's nothing new under the sun, okay? We hear that every time, there's nothing new under the sun, but you can take a song... For real, guy, you can oversample the song. I think this looks really... If at all it's true, at the end of the day, we're still checking how it is authenticated, but if at all it's true, it looks really bad because Phil Biz has done a lot of good songs, exactly. regional songs for other people, and if he has to be on the song that was actually stolen, it doesn't make sense. It makes no sense. If Big Shark can do it, why can't do it? Exactly my point. You see what I'm saying? Like, Big Shark... <laughs> He did whatever he was doing, you it's know. Not was no, it's not saying that Toby's can't, it's just saying that okay, maybe this song we're still checking, like Toby said, that when checking the whether it actually was taken because it could just be a very, very similar sounding song. Jojo. The shame would be at more like if bringing those artists on board when you haven't taken the song that isn't yours, that would be do something that would be, of course. I had it. Then what you have to do the for? You know, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, like. I'm not saying he copied, but maybe he was running out of ideas and he wanted to try and mix and sample and... It is not good for you. But I think when you're, running, when you're trying to mix, you put 
something of yours in it. Definitely. Yeah, of course. And then yeah. it becomes a mix. When it's a complete couple. Yeah, he did change the key. The key, yeah. yeah Actually, exactly. changed the key. That's he probably the key. his. So it's something. That is crazy. That's, that's crazy. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So that's let's just go on to the next okay, thing. By the way, by okay. the way, we this is not cool for the industry. Definitely. Originality. That's what we're looking up to. That's what we endorse. Okay. And there's this stuff going on around the place, social media, 2017. This is about 2017, okay? Kinaka. Kinaka is a popular blogger based in the UK. She has been existing for quite a while. A couple of months ago, she came on social media and ranted about the fact that she's coming out to make the fact that, uh, to tell people that she's gay, she's been a lesbian, and she's hoping that her coming out is going to let other people come out. So I'm like, whoa. So right now, are you trying to... Make everybody be like you, or is it that you are gay, or you actually want to endorse the fact that people should join? You? I don't. Okay, no. Okay, I'm gonna say this from an unbiased point of view, from someone who also lives in England, who lives somewhere where it's okay to be lesbian. It's not. It's it's fair enough. Everybody can be what they want to be. However, from like I said, an unbiased, unbiased point of view, you don't need to enforce it on everyone. Like yeah, that's, my issue. that's, that's always my issue with people that are sexually oriented in a different way that is considered as normal. If you're gay, be gay. Like, don't make me want have to like you. Definitely, for being don't gay. Make me when you're a straight, I probably didn't like you. So don't. So wait, wait. Yeah, don't you, said okay, she, like, you said she's based in England, right? Yeah, of course she yeah, is. Good. She should be there. Be there. No, no, no. That's yeah. not right. Okay. okay. Some I understand. No, I understand where she's coming from. In the sense that, right? There are. There are. She, it was a serious issue. There are people who are too ashamed, and too afraid. To come out and say that they're gay. However, she has to remember that Cameroon is illegal to be gay. So okay, they yeah. cannot come out and say that in Cameroon. Exactly. Let them go somewhere else and say it, maybe. Definitely. But she's you can't do it here. No, I'm, uh, I'm actually. Is she still a Cameroonian? Of course, of she's course. a Cameroonian. I, I don't think when she comes to Cameroon, she's going to be ranting like that. No, though. she doesn't. That's she doesn't if she's going to visit, by the way. But that's not even my point. My point is not that she's gay. My point is her ah, trying to encourage. Others okay. to do it. Yeah, there's a lot of like gay pride. Yeah, like, trying to say, yeah, you know, this, wait, bringing the girlfriend like, and ranting about her, showing her all over the place. Like, who cares? The only good thing is, I guess she was trying to get out in front of the blo other bloggers because there are other bloggers who are trying to. Yeah, to, marketing to, strategy. Exactly. She did do. A, it was a good. It was a good marketing strategy. Good marketing but strategy. Been a marketing strategy. I think that we all know people. We have we all probably have people in our circles that are probably gay but they don't want to make it very public because it's not very accepted here. So maybe she's taking upon herself or her celebrity to come out and be gay and give people the, the encouragement to come out and be gay as well. Yeah. That's okay. My only See, that issue. was okay. It's just that she keeps on... She's like, it's okay. You guys are wrong for telling me it's not okay. Then she attacks Christianity and the Bible and she went or completely left in her argument and that was my issue. She started to talk about all sorts of things that yeah. just, just be gay and own it. Own your shit and stay just, with it. Yeah, just don't, be gay. You don't need to defend yourself yeah. if you know that it's okay. Looks like a crazy publicity stunt. By the way, that's <laughs> her life and that was it for 2017 of course for her and I think she's still pulling it all through this time. And on to the next thing like we said our industry is going crazy. The movies, the, the, the fashionistas, those who are in the music industry. 2017 had a nutshell of every little bit of it. And one of them was the Pule Jeffrey, the Pule Jeffrey, the fine boy of the Cameroon movie industry. Mm -hmm. Everybody is reverending here and there, but this time he was with a broken head. Okay, this guy was bleeding and rushed to the hospital because his co or his colleague had his head broken with a stone. Like, what's going on with the industry? The stone. Morning? I heard it was a bottle. Yeah, uh, all of the stone. Yeah, but the so, stories have traveled. Yeah, so, like, like you know, I <laughs> also heard it was because of the girl, and then another person is saying they argued because of an award. Like, I think that I think anyway. Personally, I think that the award is like the likely stories, like logical thing. Personally, I think it's there should be some girl. No, like, how does an award go from I don't think so to a bloody head? Exactly. I don't know. No, I possible, you know I especially think. if they were last night with the body parts that are probably consumed a lot of alcohol. You look uh, pretty yeah, seen so. in that selfie. Yeah, but and oh, and and I actually okay, do, you know, do you know what? When I first saw it, I was like, oh, they're acting. There's more makeup. It's a movie, yeah. I actually was like, this is a movie. Yeah, but but your blood is I guess not. But I guess the point of it is they shouldn't even be fighting. Right? Yeah, but would they? Would somebody uh, crack your head with a bottle or a stone or whatever, over, and you take over. a selfie? Was it a selfie? Is, is, is it, like, it is a selfie. Dude was looking at the camera right there. Like, 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 like okay. They don't bust my head. 
It happens. Okay, so it like, happens. So it happens. Like, Maybe the like, shock like, adrenaline like <laughs> lifted his world to be like. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I wanted to make it self but that's by the way though. We can't be encouraging violence no, in, in in an industry like this one. We're supposed to hold each other and grow. Yeah. It's crazy. It's just crazy to well, see another guy. I mean, well, I mean like, like guys aren't supposed to fight like that. Girls are the ones who argue and do all this cat fighting. Guys are supposed to like grow. So yeah. Let's, so let's keep it moving. Should not have bodyguards. Ah uh, yeah, I guess we should have bodyguards. So what are you doing? Great job opportunities. Like yeah. What is the guys? Anyway, but I think it should be more of mental guys. You know. More of thinking about what you're about to do, or maybe just when it's done, the first thing you do should not be a self Yeah, you know? it feels a little bit. It's yeah, easy. it's weird. It's, it's easy. It, it, it's easy, but it feels there's, there's just something about it that doesn't feel right. Okay, it's nice. Yeah. No, but it was trying to be like, okay, look at the industry we're living in. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, find I do think That's you should do it because it's awareness. Now. I think there yeah. should be awareness that look, yeah. it's not all fun and games. We don't just sit there and everything is not rosy. Like this shit happens. Like, yeah, but that was not the only person beaten. In 2017, by the way, that was not the only person. Okay. There's, there's Malox. Okay, Malox, Malox leaves his house in the boy. <laughs> okay, dude. You know what? This was even like it was funnier because this guy goes to the hospital and posts it. Like he gives somebody his camera and say, "Please take me a picture." Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I think we should reinforce that. No, beating isn't funny. It's the funny is the reactions after the beating. Yeah, yeah. Funny. The guy took his camera and gave it to someone and was like, "Take me a picture." So and he takes it and posts it like. But what about the story? What's I don't know. I don't know. What, it, happened? It, 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 what happened? I don't know. Well, I heard Malox sang something really bad about this lady. Okay. Uh, and. He's killing me. He's something. He's killing me. Yeah, of course. He's killing me. And then. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then what happens is. Yeah. At the club, he, she takes a bat. It was actually a bat. Like yes, a really bat. baseball yeah, bat. Jesus. Yes, and she should too. Why is he talking about her? Why should you talk about her? Why should you talk about her? In an hour ago, when I heard about the story, I was very happy because I personally I don't like her. You were happy about the story? Why? It doesn't seem nonsense. No, 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 no. You guys are getting me. How can you say Malox is nonsense? No, Malox sounds good. He doesn't sing nonsense. He doesn't sing nonsense. Have you ever heard the song Sunday Ripper? Have you ever heard the song? Wait, have you ever heard the song Sunday Ripper? 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 Well, I guess like people are vibing to it. Maybe it's not just your thing, but I have maybe it's not your thing. Yeah, no, yeah. people are vibing. If people people are vibing. People relate to the music. What are you saying? Many people. There's, there's young thugs and all those guys. They sing nonsense, but people vibe to it. Right? What does Migos say? Exactly. What does Migos say? Migos. Da 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 da. Looking at thing. What are you doing? 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 What are us feeling like we can say anything because we have hatred. Yeah, like, yeah. Us feeling like our hatred is supposed to give us freedom of speech. You know, careless speech. Let me put it that way. Yeah. Because I think the girl is affected by what has been yeah. said about her. Malox is a very international artist. He has a lot of people listening to him. And uh -huh. A lot of people that didn't know her are going to find out. Oh, exactly. Her. They'll start and they're not going to look for her like, who is this girl? They're not going to think she's beautiful the first time they see her. I think, think, think Malox is a that. whole, she's a prostitute. Always or singing about something Always like about that. And because if, I first remember. Uh, yeah. When Alex song hit somebody during the 2013 World Cup, you remember that match? Yeah, yeah. 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 moved the song about mm -hmm. it, I was mocking Alex song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was so bad. But wait, when, excuse me, when we talk about freedom of speech, are we supposed to guide the way the freedom of speech? Are we supposed to go through the freedom of speech? It's freedom of speech. Issue. Being a celebrity is not about being whatever you want to be. Being a celebrity is a whole context of you controlling what you put out there because people are actually thinking that you're conscious. People actually hoping that you're a conscious person about your whole stardom and everything. So it's just like what uh, what happened earlier in the year, Mr. Leo posting something on Facebook saying Texas and all the places. And everybody's yeah, like, everybody's true. dying in your place and yeah, you're talking to people it, yeah, in America. Sure. So what actually is supposed to ha I think what you're supposed to do is when you have an idea, you know, you're supposed to let the other people know this is what I'm thinking. And then we relate it. You don't just say whatever you want to say because you're a star. That's not okay. Sure, okay. but wait, wait, a little bit. To drift away from the minority situation, you just mentioned Mr. Leo. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with that. That guy, yeah, his environment, excuse me, he was in Texas. And he no. left Cameroon has to, to go to Texas. And he's a Cameroon. He, he has to perform to Texas. Yeah, yeah, no, that's so okay. Though, he has to perform to, 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 to Texas. So he has to, no, he has to relate. No. no, he has to relate with the audience. We're not against. Texas. We're not against. My, so he's. We're not against him being empathic or sympathetic or whatever. No, because all of us social media guys were just against Mr. Leo saying, "Thank you, Texas. I shall to Texas." Blah blah blah. I think the no, it's not. They were trying to yeah. Was that he was not being the charity didn't bring up from home. Yeah, you should yes. do it. Okay. Now, no he has sang, now, he has said, now he has sang free. What do you have to say about that? 
talk about the fact that him. maybe sang prey on the heels of us. Yeah, yeah exactly. Why it's now on him? his own like. But you don't tell the father he sang it. Okay, so the beating. I'm like enough of the beating. Okay, let's go into something more intriguing and stuff. We're talking about Alpha Beta Records. This guy is back. 2017 was yes like for real man 2017 has been a hype a hype for this and they have this their song they just released at the end of the year higher higher and it's their year whatever what do you think what can you say though I think 2017 has definitely been a good year for Alpha Beta Records. Except one person. Okay. No, what? Well, 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 let's start with the, out, the whole Alpha Beta Beta as a whole. Guys, you can't win, right? Let's first you can't win your horse. Let's give them their receipts, right? Let's give them their credit. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they yeah. deserve it. They yeah, really I do. think it's really been a very good year for them. They've had a lot of songs that everybody everybody loves. It's been a very good year for them. And I know you're waiting to, <laughs> I know you're waiting to kill her, but. I think that it's we can all agree that it was a very good year for them. Yeah, so, I remember yeah. during the year 2017, even Jovi was endorsing people from them, talking about Mr. Leo owning the year. These guys had an amazing Europe tour. I mean, they were like all over the place in Europe. You have uh, Mr. Leo has basically, basically taken over. I mean, like the introduction of touring all over the place, that was his thing. He yeah. basically will spend a couple of months out of the country. This is not what we had in our entertainment job. industry uh, yeah. the whole time. And yeah. their boss, uh, Salatiel, amazing year for, for this guy. He has been an amazing guy. Been amazing. Okay? It's exactly. just, we can just go on and they on. They do things differently. Like, they even look at the city collapse. Like, the collapse yeah. he did in 2017 were like good. something exactly. else. Exactly. Like, even when he was traveling, when he came to UK, he was just saying, like, like that's, that's something. That's, yeah. Exactly. That's the, that's what we're talking about. And you have Bless B. Okay, Bless B. Yeah. Aquando, of course. People don't know. You have, he always tries to separate the, 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 the artist and the producer's personality. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to I say he didn't do. Uh, yeah, of course. I, think, I don't want to say he didn't do. In 2017, he was actually more of a better producer than an artist. He, front he, and back was a good song. Yeah, yeah front and back was a good song. For me, though, I think in that too. Yeah, in that pool for me. So you think he's underrated think, or something? I think he's underrated. He is underrated. Definitely yeah. after Mr. Leo, in that pool for me is definitely. Okay. Before yeah. the for me, yeah, that's yeah. what I think because mm. that guy can sing. For he can. He can sing. And I think he has to do like a lot of. Songs. He's underrated. He has to do like more songs or different. I've heard him sing before when we're still when I've heard him. Yeah, heard he him just sing. had a show down even at Dream Lounge for his birthday. It was yeah, something crazy. that is not very something that is not very clando or something like his yeah. other kind of his other voice. It's yeah. not yes. call it his other voice. It's very. I don't want to describe it, but it's so outstanding. It's yeah, really yeah. beautiful, yeah, I and I think he should do more songs like that. To, yeah, to be able yeah. to have a different side. And not generally being just a new shadow because they feel like everybody in Alpha Beta Records is it's a bit yeah. difficult because Sanatel kind of took that 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 bit of Alpha Beta, so it's kind of hard. If there's me now comes and starts doing it, it's maybe he's he's wondering people think that I'm trying to copy Sanatel because he's usually the one who does the whole Twy and Mora, yeah. the slow songs yeah, and so forth. So maybe he's it's just like, like I think I'll step on his all, toes. It's like they all converted the energy to push Mr. Leo forward, okay. yeah. and then coming individually because I don't think they do a lot of marketing for That's not the point. I I think yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I don't think they don't this they complain last year. Yes, they don't do a lot of it for me. Nobody sees it. Yeah, no, but we saw him in 2017. So I just think, I just think we like, did see him in 2017. We saw him in 2017. Okay, I think it. it's it's like pushed him for the future. Like now, people are like waiting. They're yeah, waiting for yeah. him. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. yeah, he's better as a producer because we know him more as a quando. A quando, rather than of course you see if there's be like. No, yeah, but when you begin to talk about Alpha Beta Records pushing Mr. Leo, I don't think that's the. I think Mr. Leo. This Might is beginning to happen well. effortlessly. It's yeah. no longer around no, about that good. push. He's good. He's, he's, he's good. good. He's good. And he also fights for it. He goes back to the like. He goes back to the French one. Like nowhere that will give him credit. Like he goes back. He himself makes two works. The artist hustle is the most important thing. If the artist isn't hustling. No, nobody's gonna make. He's, they're not gonna make it. And it's his hustle that's making it. Yeah, but a lot of the guys, okay, Alpha Beta Records has a lady. No, Alpha Beta Records has a lady to go for that. You mean this four guys? They already have. No, they're the ladies. 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 They're the 
don't even know what to say because I don't even know what to say because I'm a girl. Yeah. No, I, you gotta you have to end us with no offense. You have to end us with no offense. Can you just say that? Yeah, and guys. <laughs> no. You have to end you at least with no offense. No, because no, 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 the, the thing is, she doesn't. Okay, maybe she has a deep masculine voice. Not the voice. But she sounds. She looks. She looks feminine enough. Okay. Well, okay. What is the issue? Why is that scary guy to you? I saw us here on December 21st. We missed her. I couldn't believe it was her. Why? Where was this at the white party? Yeah, the white party. Okay. No, I was like, no. I was a DJ. Oh, okay. Yeah, I heard it was a good party, so I'll give you that. No, I did hear it was a good party. I heard the music was good. Yeah, it was good. Alright, so ask her. So, that, talk about his talent, by the way. Talk about his talent. Is she good? Ask her. Ask her. Is she good? Well, there are a few of her songs are like. Okay, uh, she seems to. She okay. could rap. No, she see, could. when it comes to rap, that girl can rap. She yeah. could. She can rap. Like, she is good. good. But she is that good. She, she has like, bars. She, she has bars. She has bars. Just, I wouldn't say not in this song. That's last. Song. No, I don't know what she was doing in this. I mean, what's the last she has an EP I, I, online. She has an EP yeah. online, like from I don't know. It's called. I forgot what it's called. It's called like, so, like from chapter one to four. Why did you listen to that? Do you know what? Good. I'll say ask you, it's good. She's made it on iTunes, okay? I tried to download yeah. it and I saw her on Apple Music. So she's good at it. She's her. good. I just have a program with her. Appear right. So, so are you? So wait, wait, okay, but we are not talking about Askia. We're talking about Askia in 2017. Okay, As do, you think, do you think? Do you think she was well, actually? I think that we need to take this like the more private. <laughs> maybe there's something extra. Yes, maybe we have a personal she, she, offense. Nah, no, this is what I'm trying to say. Okay, no. let's let's get this. Okay, let's get this right. What I'm trying to say is, do you think Alphabeta Records would have been Alphabeta Records in 2017 without Askia? Yes. Um, oh, that's a hard question. That's a hard question, but because she was just there. Okay, not, but no, she not contributed. Like that. She though, contributed. Like she, she did it, but I don't think like she walked behind me and you're doing part two. Where at the side? This whole thing. Like, yeah, but then thing. hold on. If you want to say that, then there were a lot of people who walked behind Miss Leo. Like there was some random artists from <laughs> what was supposed to be their own artists. Like we saw there was Blanche and uh, MV and all sorts of people in different right. videos. Right? Blanche is actually. Oh, okay. They were in, in different that's videos. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people, not no, not in part two, but there's a lot of people who just walked behind Miss Leo, and for them now they made it. No, but I think he's actually saying that was the only achievement she had. No, no. Very significant position in that song like she was actually frontline oppressed she needs to increase her hustle basically. Yeah. She should bring herself forward as well. Like yeah, she don't should. wait for the guys to bring you forward. Just just come out there and be like, yo, this is what I can do. Like because she used to though. That's the thing. She used to like before yeah, she was she an she, she, she was killing it. Yeah, she was about her art, but yeah. now it feels like mm. I want. I don't want to make it sound like masculine. Like people, the guys that are trying to push her down. We are not there yet. I thought they would fight to the end, but I just I wish I don't know what's happening actually, but I wish that she pushes herself. Yeah, because there was a song that she even did with the who was it? Skitty boy. boy. And Skitty boy. Yeah, yeah, she did a song with Skitty boy, and she was killing it. She was killing it. So it was like, why now we're not seeing the way she was killing it? She's going higher, higher. We go higher, higher. This is a Christmas setting. Yeah. Okay. We have to come like this. Okay, yeah, but that's it. Like, okay, yeah. no, but okay, okay, let's, yeah, let's, let's, let's play out of this. Was okay, it really so was it really a year? <laughs> I think okay. yeah, can ask your question. It's quite obvious. If she All right. Can, I think that's another thing that year. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, this is it. By the way, I think way, it was okay. her year before she joined yeah. Alpha Beta. Okay, but by the way, let's let's just go. So are you saying Alpha Beta pure? No, I didn't say that. I just said that she could hustle yeah, harder. Could be, I, like, no, I didn't say so that. So you mean she was? No, you mean? I didn't before? say that. No. I said that she that uh, she has kind of gone into the shadows with Alpha Beta. But she can come back forward on her own again. Like you don't need to wait for your management team to bring you forward. Kill it yourself. Just, okay. just go. I'm sure Sarah has heard that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> By the way, let's 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 dive into something else. 2017 had uh, artists running away from their labels and just trying to be it's like the level. This level we are in is beginning to give us a uh, headache. You know, we don't want it anymore and stuff. First, we look at the likes of Pascal, dude. 
just disappeared. We don't know. We don't want to know what happened, but I know people have been complaining about Joe B. I think we want to know what happened. If he just well, this is the point. Like this guy he didn't just disappear. He's around. He wakes up. Uh, he's with the uh, new girl music, and then he's like, "I'm done." Okay, but before we even go ahead, uh, Pascal had a good cordial relationship with Joe B. Okay, and this way it was shocking. Was he doing amazing at, at, at New Bell Music? Well, I wouldn't know what amazing is, but I know he did release a couple of songs, even featured in 16 Wives, in a couple of songs, 16 Wives, and then here he is, he goes. What do you think? I don't think there's any animosity between them. Yep. That's just the honest truth. It's not strange that an artist may want to come away from if they feel that they're undershining in a particular label it's not bad for them to leave and say that they're going to go and hustle for themselves because maybe there wasn't the time in you know as you can see movie is about movie generally speaking no, definitely. I, so watched, I, watched, I think it I raises it. controversy if you leave and say nothing no yeah, yeah. So he said like something he was, ground for he was, he was his like release of his you know he was in the Aseka accident so the day he was listening to the song for that accident he made a statement before asking the question like guy why are you leaving your music he just like, like no, he has no problem with Joby. Yeah, he was like, any issue. He was like, this is it, like, but then as combo, I have to go. It's not like a pop I'm not so doing any pop yeah. something. Why not do it the normal way? Why just... Because why sometimes, he... right, he, sometimes you bring publicity to yourself. People yeah. are going to put pressure on him. Where are you going next? Why What's happening that? next? He just needed, like, sometimes just go, go, he did, I think he did it the right way. Go under the radar, yeah. work on your music, get your shit tight, and come back and blow. Well, like, fingers crossed for Pascal then. Oh, ah, so, but, uh, do you back. think he's yes. been doing amazing ever since? But you know, he has shows, and he's, yes, but I but think, yes. When he, benediction. Exactly, benediction. Benediction is something yeah, really. good. No, pa, 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 yeah, Pascal. When oh, Pascal pa, 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 pa. puts his, his his music on something, <laughs> he is good. That's the thing. Okay, unfortunately, obviously, if every artist that is not within a label, they, it's not the easiest thing. Okay, but in some of his music, he's good. Ah, but he wasn't the only one who left the label. He wasn't the only one who left the label. We had Nami Cyrus. Okay, Nami Cyrus was at uh, Nami Nami. Oh, uh, if I call Nami Cyrus, not same person. Whatever. Nami Nami Cyrus. Don't leave. Uh, he he no, actually did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The boy actually did leave Empire Music. He was signed sometime, but made a lot of rants about it. I he made people a who are talking like about the, even, right? Of course, I, I had people who are talking about the fact that Nami Nami Cyrus departure from Empire made more waves than his entire career at Empire Music. I can't disagree with that. I can't disagree with that either. I can't disagree with that. Like, because I know the day he was leaving Empire, everyone was like, oh, Nami Nami Cyrus is he's leaving his life. Even the song he released with the boss, is hit Bagatti. He didn't make as many waves as I thought Let me be honest, I thought it would go a lot further than it did. So do you think his leaving was uh, a good thing? Because he's not still being heard? I think, and I've heard about, I've heard about Nami Ami Sarah's life. Talk about him, and everybody keeps saying that there's a lot of talent, a lot of potential. But the whole point of being a star is actually making your reality look like you have potential. It's not about having potential and having good things. Oh, this guy can be a star. If you're a star, a star, you cannot be, can be a star. So, wherever he's leaving and going to, good luck to you, by the way, wherever he's going to, if he continues with this same attitude, like she was talking about, if you don't have personal hustle as a celebrity, whoever you are, it's never going to change. Even if you go to Sunny Music, Universal, exactly. whoever signs. It's not, it's not going to change anything. If you watch any of these shows, like these American shows where they're hustling and so forth, they hustle. The artists hustle for themselves and bring it to their managers, and they're like, "Yo, yeah, this is what I've got. This is who I met. This is how I did it." That's how you increase your own hustle. Not that you're sitting there waiting for your manager to bring you an artist. If your manager has five artists. Why? Who's going to say that you're going to be the first? No. Like what? Like there are many, many people. Like hustle for yourself is your livelihood at the end of the day. Artists will be complaining. I don't have money. I don't have this. My, my manager, my management has to give me this. The management just decided to manage you. Who talked? Did they tell you they have 50, 50 million to manage you? And nobody's prepared to do free shows. Exactly. Nobody, nobody believes in working it from the ground. Yeah. Up. By the way, see, we had a, a lot of love, okay? We have been having so much hate, the fight, the broken bottles, the up and down. This Selfie. year, of course, this year was also was plated with a lot of love, okay? Love that was expressed at its best, okay? Weddings, man. We had our entertainers getting married. Like, the industry is beginning to pay, man. Yeah, like we girls are actually starting to believe in them. Like, like we actually, actually look at like, yeah, like, 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 like,
Yeah, you are you serious? No, at first every banker looks more serious than an artist. Honestly, there's still some artists that you're not sure. You're like, wait, if you put these in my hands, I don't even bring it. Next day, like, wait. That's not. That's not to talk about it. Okay. By the way, what I was saying is, they actually did express this love at your face this year. We had a lot of weddings. Yeah, of that right. There's a meme on Facebook. Yeah, Ah, let me add the doctor there. Oh, before I am prostituted. By the way, though, let's talk about Kexibu and his ad. Do you think 2017 was his year? Definitely. I think it was here, like in a bank. But I think that the guy, I think there's a lot of changes that have to be done to his concepts of music videos. I think like whenever I hear Ken sitting there, I think I really know what I'm going to listen to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah, I think like there's, there's supposed to be some mental change up, switch up or something in the concepts of this video. Okay. So yeah. you think okay. Ken Sifun actually made more in yeah. the band than his concept? Like yeah. you think he, he needs a mental? I think people rely on him too much to just make their concept. Definitely. In the sense you that have to come, you have to come with your concept, come with your idea, but they're just yeah. like they don't wake up yeah, like okay, Ken, you, Ken, Ken I've seen his video, I like it. Let, let him just do yeah, everything. Do it, That's not how it's supposed to work. There's, people are supposed to bring their own stuff as well as the video director. Are we, are we so of, sure he actually takes people's concepts with that work? That's another thing. No. Well, I think when so. you present your music to him, he has an idea. So. Mm-hmm. This is your idea. You guys do this is the artist and you compare I've heard, with it. I've heard some people complaining like he, he, he didn't take the concept that was brought to him. It's true, obviously, you know your art, maybe you're better. You think, like, no, this would look better, this would look better, this. But all I'm asking for is just a little change up, like, some surprise. Not, like, no, there was one. Oh, gosh. Have you seen what's that? Was it um, Big G Baba? There was, one, so, there was one video that he shot where it was like in slow motion. That was a cool concept. Do you guys know the video I, I'm talking about? With Big G yeah. and, and, uh, and, uh, and K Major. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and, uh, yeah something, is really wrong. something is really wrong. No, I'm not sure it's that one. There's one. Big he's, Big he's running in it. He's running. Something is really yeah, wrong. something is really wrong. So that one, come on. We have to admit that no, that one. No, wait. I think what uh, what Sylvia is talking about is the concept for a video is actually not about shooting. Of course, he he shoots well. There's clarity. You can be able to interpret. But you have color correction. He that shoots well when he feels like. Through, can we, the like correction when he feels like he shoots well. You can bring a project to him like it doesn't feel like. Oh uh, well, we can't <laughs> understand what goes behind yeah, the scenes too, yeah. because I can actually say. come to you and give you a low budget. Yeah, exactly. And then you produce with respect to that. That's true. But, that but, is true. But that's not what we're talking about. Okay, Kate Stephen is married. You got married. Good move. Congratulations to him. What do you More should I follow like him? Yes, he should. He should, like, he should, he like, but he should, he should get spend the money. money exactly. Are you serious? Like, I'm saying it's a good move for a young guy who is becoming successful, who is successful like to get married. For us, right? a good move. Are you serious? Exactly. All these guys who are sitting there waiting oh, and waiting. Our son is not married. Oh, maybe he's going to join He's a very really successful You're not married. Caleb, you're not married. Caleb, you're not married. Jesus, are you serious? Uh, if you, uh, uh, what about you? You're not married either. What's okay, that's what I'm saying. Ken made a good move, okay? <laughs> so we, we should give it to him. We also had a lot of wedding bells. We had Dixie. Dixie has been in the industry like for, for yeah, about age about forever. Forever. Like, What about Dixie, man? Like, I don't know if he actually made the money that is necessary to take care of. First, I used to feel that guy. Africa mommy, I used to feel that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So money, there's a difference of all his wife. Yes, wife and family and stuff. It's, it's the money from the music, actually. Uh, there's something else. But like I said before, we can't check a little bit of those little bridges because it doesn't pay right now. We can't be digging into Tuxi's yeah, life. The most yeah. important thing is congratulations. Yeah, okay, congratulations to, to the guy to for, the for, for tying the knot. Yeah, I'm hoping that you guys actually get married. Okay. Halston, right. Kawa. No, I'm, I'm, I'm almost waiting. I'm hey, waiting. I'm almost uh, taken. Hey, hey, wow. <laughs> almost wait, taken. Hey, what, what, oh, oh, okay, let's look at it from this perspective. This year, we had people, this year, who actually made one hit and ran away. One hit wonders. We called him the white hit wonders. Jesus. Yeah. Where is Cool Kid? Where is Cool Kid, actually? Where is Cool Kid? You see Zen. Maybe he's coming back. It's 2018. Maybe he's yes, coming back. No, like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, 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 maybe he's coming back. No, like, he's coming why really went wrong with maybe that dude? I mean, when yeah. when seriously yeah. came out, it was a trend. He where where is he? Oh, okay, he's in school. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Oh, we're back to school. school. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Now that one we give you is oh, commendable. Oh, okay, okay. Get okay. that degree. Education okay. is always the right thing to do. Yeah. Where's Big Baller? Big Baller, he did a song in 2017. Of course. There was a song. a couple of songs in 2017. Yeah. Um, 
uh, something. I uh, can't actually remember the test, but these are some of the people that actually did train. Yeah, yeah they you did train, they seriously, train. right? He actually did run. He did a chorus seriously. seriously yeah. yeah, amazing thing. And he's an amazing Where's producer. Crispy? Where's Crispy? An amazing rapper. An like, amazing that's rapper. But the thing with like these rappers sometimes is that rap alone doesn't always just sell, especially in Cameroon. That's just that's just the shame of it. Yeah. So what Crispy's talent? Crispy is so talented that abroad yeah. it would be like. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, Crispy, here people, the yeah, Crispy the rapper. Yeah. The people here are like, mm, am I just gonna listen to rap on his own? Like, you don't, they don't just play like. Uh, no, but he has an Yeah, he has an audience. He's an audience. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah, make it. Glory boys. Glory boys. Uh, uh, the Glory boys have actually been doing stuff. They actually did together a couple of them. No, together. together. They are making the mark though. Yeah, I think they have done a couple of songs. Do you think those two are underrated or they are just good? I think no, no, no. I think they're underrated. I think they were good. But maybe sometimes you can be good at one song and maybe not always. I think they slowed their horse like after they deja moved. vu with Loco. I think they slowed their horse. Come on, understand the rich beach travel as well. He doesn't live here. Okay, well, like, yeah, yeah, rich beach got a job, so yeah. I think he's oh, all over the place. Yeah, rich beach did move. Yeah, he did get a job. I think he works with a bank or something. Exactly. So yeah, and including our hustle sometimes. So he got a job. Are we saying we're singing because he got a job? Ah, what? Yes, we are. Okay, I will know. Got a job. Yeah, what we're saying, he actually got a job aside his musical career, so he's a lot busier than he was before. Okay, you get what I'm saying? So, these are the basics of the, 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 the industry right now. Okay, so basically, basically, in 2017, we also experienced a lot of crazy. I mean, as far as the entertainment industry is concerned, I don't know if there's regional balance. We actually do ex uh, experience regional balance now because I don't see any of it. You have this saturated perspective or part of Cameroon that has a lot of the entertainment buzz. There is one part of it that is entirely dead. They have some that have it in bits. Okay, come to think of it, per se, we have Boya. People are beginning to think Boya is going to be like the next Hollywood, Hollywood Cameroon, as per <laughs> America and stuff. No, that's some people because Kumba people think that Kumba is the next. Exactly. Some people think that. Yeah. Yeah. Think that yeah. 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 The Dwala guys think that no. No, it's all easy. about them. So but then the, the difference with the Dwala guys is Dwala Yaoundé. All francophones at least are one. All man in march, all man. No man there with no man. Cause all man are dead. I just see your son. Bamenda na Bamenda. Do you think that this is actually playing a role in the entertainment industry, a positive role? I mean, if we are beginning to save the game. Yeah, I don't think it's positive at all. In, in, the, in the sense that, right, for example, like, how can you have, I was like, okay, for example, when I came, I was, I was talking to people from Cuba. They're like, I'm an artist, I'm the biggest thing. All these where people don't know what they're doing. Like they put the Skate. other town down, they're hating on their on their own. Like instead of saying that we all make music, we all could be good, we can all be this, they're putting their people down and I'm like what how is that helpful? At least I hear what you're saying, but at one point I think that there's competition in that you need to be healthy. Yeah, so, I think there so is too. definitely because yeah, no, there's yeah. nothing like black publicity. Yeah. So definitely if they are putting that other side of the artist down. It's making those side of artists go and work hard and show them that no, we are not done. We are going yeah, when you look at that's, 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 that's not what it's doing. That's, that's not a, the problem. That's not a good foundation. Though. Yeah, when you wait, wait, but you look there at America, nothing. for example, you see West Side, South Side, no, East Side. No, that, more, that was is it more like was it that was actually it drop beef. or yeah, that was beef. That was gang. Yeah, no, yeah. No, it wasn't about the music. The music actually came from the gang. Yes, like gang wise. Okay, this is it. So we we shouldn't do the segregation. I think we should. I think this should be united. No, no, no. There should be. Not that there should, shouldn't be segregation, competition. There's a difference between competition and segregation. segregation yeah. Competition is when you're like, okay, you know what? Like, for example, like, who was this? There was another rapper. Is it Dion? So I was trying to be similar. They said it was similar to Askia or whatever. Yeah. It's healthy to say that, like, okay, Dion and Askia, that's healthy competition. Like, you know what? Like, I'm going to come up. I'm going to come up. But to say that, to say this person is rubbish, I wanna be, I'm going to be better than them and they're going to be terrible. How is that? How is that helpful? Okay, like yeah, let's, let's come to the basic part of it. Let's look at Vameda, for example. Do you think these guys actually don't have talent? See. Or they're not just good at marketing their talent? Sorry, can I ask you for Vameda that's an artist? I just need to know. Magasco. Why okay. Magasco. Oh, okay, okay. But they won't come down here. So yeah, how that's, that's the problem. That is the problem. <laughs> that is the problem. See, that's what I'm saying. Those who are busy. Is it actually some Joe demonic Basta. thing? Is it some demonic thing? So everybody's just aligning Vameda. Yes, please. So all of them. Well, yes. Yeah, of course. So what I'm trying to yeah, say, no, so what I'm trying to say is, is it that in Bamenda 
we don't have anything in particular that can actually push those who are based there. But when you are based in Bermuda, you can't actually just blow. I but you can. Was, people those, here have already made it in such a way that the people in Bermuda look up to people here. So they want to come here and just grow up from the shadow world and be doing the work in Bermuda to start off the ground. Except Ambe. Uh, Ambe actually did his work in Bermuda because Bam Ambe blew in Bermuda. That's yeah, how he now. Magasco blew in Bermuda. Okay, Magasco too blew in Bermuda. Okay, so the two of them blew in Bermuda, but then now. Did he? Did. Are you allowing me to solve my dad? Are you serious? Oh, Nine yeah. Nine 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 are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did. He saw something. So you think. Okay, the industry is growing and then they're regressing. I don't know. I don't know what's happening in Bermuda because. Whatever my mother does, I'm not amazing. He's up to so you know. <laughs> he doesn't. He's not sure where he is. Uh, all the regional uh, bias is actually playing on a, a big deal everywhere, except Bermuda. That's why it's a lot more pronounced. Because yeah. Yaoundé has a little bit of it. Yeah, yeah, it's great for them. Yeah, it's great. They have an organization of concert. Yeah. Okay, yeah. not not to lie to you, I asked an artist who is based in Bermuda. And I wanted to know precisely. I'm not going to call his name here, but this is fact. And ask some artist who is based in Bermuda. That okay, okay, okay. Don't call his name. Call his name. I'm going to malox you. Ask some artist who is based in Bermuda, and I ask him, is it possible that Daphne actually sell out in Bermuda in a concert, a show? And he told me no. Yes, because yeah, I can accept that. They used to have one. Yeah, oh, they'd rather have no. Bamenda for no. That's what they want. They no. don't want. No, no. Listen. <laughs> they say rather it's the opposite. It's because Bamenda are just loyal to them. No, they rather have their own. No, no. That's not the truth. That's not even the truth. No, listen. That's not it. Instead, no. Instead, if just if Bamenda are instead to perform, forget. No, that's a lie. Because you know why? If you know he's selling out Bamenda. Definitely can sell out. Big G is selling out. Big G is selling out. But that's only because he's making noise. I think Bamenda like him more than you. Yeah, that's because he's the person who's the guys. You know, Awo. If Awo was a concert, I would sell out. I don't think so. Then Daphne can sell more Awo. I don't think that will sell out. Okay, well, this is the answer. Big G will sell out. Like, these people that like to sing that what they call like Bazo and like just singing like a lot of stuff. They, they they will sell out. Because okay, yeah. the noise making place. We can blame, we can blame, we can blame, we can blame. Individual artists. To the region or something, but there's the people, the artists in whichever region find themselves have the responsibility of doing not publicity for their art. The reason why Boya looks like Hollywood or something is because they have not the work of this publicity. You can actually hear them. So those guys have I mean, to do work that goes beyond the region. You actually need to do a lot of publicity for their music and whatever. Yeah, but I also, I, I remember actually my chat with them was lengthy and I was like, I was going to bring it here. Yeah, yeah, because for real. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Like this is Nebango. He's a rapper, actually. Yeah. Nebango. He's a rapper. Okay, he's a rapper in Bermuda. Yeah. Um, Hakim. <laughs> yes, his name is Hakim. I listen to that. It's so good. Yeah, he has. He has. His, uh, okay. But look at the point. The guy is talking from the perspective of the fact that they don't have uh, people who can actually sponsor shows. Sponsor shows. They're talking about the inability for people to sponsor on the platform. So I asked him that, why can... Why, no, no. When I asked later on about that, I needed to stress on it. He said, but well, he thinks that Dominic can actually sell after all because he's on trace. He said in Bermuda, when you are a trace TV artist... Yeah, big somebody. Yeah, big somebody. Yeah. That's why their artists cannot okay. sell there. Exactly. So they, so they look like... They look up to they look at the people. So the platform in which they see an artist is how much they give them reverence or respect and stuff. So I'm feeling like that is playing really bad. Why are they not able to give their songs to the trains? Um, well, for the trains, I was about to say something else, but just to put that in for trains, uh, I don't know, but there's some time they are working in the artists and we had to get her song across the trains. Things came to the mix. It's not. It was actually discovered that it's not as easy. It's not a two-step process. It's, it's about easy. what people want to hear as well. Yeah, it's about what people want to hear. At some point, it's about who you know. It's about who likes you personally. There's just a lot of things. But I was about to say that another thing I noticed in Bermuda, as one of the reasons why we don't have to sell out beyond. Bermuda, I noticed amongst the artists that everybody wants to have their own record label. 
you have your regular, regular singing song. Everybody wants to be on their own. Everybody wants to strike out. Like this is CEO praise. I want to know something that everybody wants to be a CEO. Everybody wants to be a CEO of his own business. I mean, it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Yeah, there's no upper better records with five CEO. Exactly. It, does, it doesn't work like that. Like you have to understand your place. Not everybody can be an administrator. Like being a CEO is That's another more issue. Just music. Too many labels too. Yeah, too many labels. Labels. That's Label, and labels wake up. People What's wake up. They're not really sure what they're doing. Necessarily, I'm gonna just put it out there. Not everybody knows what they're doing in terms of a label. There's la- labels should have different sections. There should be management. There should be like the production. There should be the branding. There should be different things. Some one person wants to be a jack of all trades. They'll just come and say that I'm a label. I'm a manager. I'm a this. I'm a that. It's it's failing their artists. And at one point, I think Joby had a problem. Well, I think at one point, I think Joby had a problem. Being boss, jack of all trades. Oh, at okay. Point. At one point, you like he's done. Just one point. Okay, <laughs> okay, think, point. okay. This is every point, eh? I think, the and that's maybe why the artists on the jury are not. Yeah. Yeah, the artists on that jury have been really standing out and branching out. The only one who really stood out is it was Renis. Renis, yeah. Renis is the only one who you can say has like after Jolie has stood out. And part of it is because she's female. She's exactly, yeah. So she has a sex appeal. We didn't even say 2017 was a year. Does she? Yeah. The world yeah. that do you know? Oh, yeah. She's in the last year. Like, really? She's in the last year. She's in the last year. And, uh, God, one of the things that trained in 2017 the beefs. The beefs, like, Cameroonians like to cook beefs. Like, what is that? That one. <laughs> like, we're done. Like, I'm, I, I, I'm malnourished. <laughs> I'm malnourished, like I had a lot of beefs in 2017. It's yeah, not yeah. cool. Wait, one of them that stood out was Jovi and the motherland uh, craze. Like, what's that? Like, Jovi woke up one morning, went to social media, and constantly, I know, a web book. Like, a what? 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 Like, like, did I just call that? He said with P. Yeah, he said the word P. He said with P. Yeah, and said Pete Bagatti and Magaso was his dog. Yeah, pink. Ah, he said Pete. Okay. And Magaso is his father. Is Magaso is his father, like, <laughs> really, like, what, what's wrong with that dude, man? What's wrong with Joey? Joey. See, you know, you're getting this. Maybe a lot of inner anger. Maybe a lot of inner anger. No, listen, this is his new song, Jengo. I think, I don't know if he's directly related to it, but he said, before I did what I did, most of you had no clue. Okay. So I don't know, that line makes me think that's, this is related that's to what really is. Yes. So we don't really there. know, we don't really know what's wrong with you. Yeah, but if you're angry at the story. world, don't take it out at the view. No, 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 like, no, I don't think that's the world. I think something, something happened, happened before you said that. Well, oh, okay. And then he came out, that's how he introduced it to the world. That line, I don't know if that line is directly related to that situation, but that line he mentioned it. There's no room for that Jovi Okay, so you think it was on weed? Like, I think there was one tweet which it was one uh, on Twitter. He put a tweet where he said he has spoken to Koto Bats. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, <laughs> I remember yeah, yeah. How many years ago somebody just tweeted that he spoke to him right now? Yeah, man. Oh, so he thinks sometimes so, when he's on his keyboard, he's on the same the under the influence of Uncle. Yeah, it could be the Kanye in him. Yeah, the Kanye in him. Yeah, but the guy has a controversial kind of attitude. But once again, guys, we're saying all this make it just publicity maybe yeah, it's what we he wanted to us to do what we're doing right now yeah, because in 2017 yeah. i know oh, stanley you know yeah, actually for the first time endorsing jovi and saying that her emotion was his best song for 2016. You remember when stanley and i said that you heard jovi's reply what i don't impress me you take me more respect okay yeah but look at the look at it from this perspective though he talks and says that to stanley and the guy who comes replying is is um, uh, uh, Martin Eno. What can you see? Martin Eno went all over the place. So maybe Stanley is the wet. Yes, Stanley was the wet bee. Wet bee. And and uh, guess who was? Wax day. Yeah. 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 I think you're probably not gonna buy your likes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. But but that's like, one thing. You know what? Right? You need to just leave Joby. Joby's on a, on a plane of his own. Yeah, really exactly. just because really and truly, he's like in he's in a world of his own, and exactly. he's funny. Let him do what he's doing. He he's entertaining us. Why yeah, 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 of course. I'm actually, telling us this very moment. But, but I think I one. think that if Joby stops being controversial. I'm going off and on social media the way he does because he has not seen that in quite a long time now. I know we are expecting his well, going to go to his industry. That way, yeah, he didn't talk about it. Joby's marketing tactics is something. It's something, but yeah, I, yeah, yeah. But talking about that, let's look at Stanley for example. Stanley, you know, the year 2017, 
He took a song with Mr. Easy, then Davido. He had all of these songs. Dude was singing the whole time. Uh, uh, can I get it? Like, like, dude, like, no, is they, that guy you see among the hip hop artists? As you were saying, they can't hear him. I think they're still enjoying it. Yeah, but look at it from this perspective. Do you think that we can put Stanley you know, as a hip hop or artist or rapper anymore? Like Looking at 2017. I don't know what he's saying. Listen, listen. He's a good man. He's good at what he does. Whatever he's doing, Whatever he's, he's, he's yeah, doing it yeah. well. I, I, I would have to say, right? Like, we have gone past the age where we define. I'm not saying things well. Okay. Like really well. So, so we need to open minded. Okay. If an artist gets some the money and feels inspired to sell it, okay, she has the right to sing. Okay. She doesn't yes. define artists be like, yeah, strictly a rapper. Okay. You okay. only rap. Yeah, yeah I'm strictly probably, a singer. I'm I'm sing. So if, if, if we're trying to understand, they define themselves. Joby sings. Joby sings, but he is a hip hop. He's a rapper. You get what I mean? He's a Joby sings, but he is hip hop. He is fuck of God. You get what I mean? Stanley sings. Stanley has the word. What what with this guy? The rapper. Oh, is that, uh, yeah, we have a lot of people. Uh, Cozy raps and sings. Uh, uh, you have um, Nasty C, who is singing now. You have uh, uh, God, a lot of people. I understand. Are you you, talent you, talent you, know, you know who Nasty C is? Who is he? He's a hip hop artist. So, Carla, you are getting me right. You don't really tell him to put no, out his rapper. No, you don't think he has found himself. I don't think he has found himself. Like after him, uh, I don't think he thinks he has found himself. So That's just the thing. He doesn't know where he is exactly. I, 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 I didn't say. I'm not talking about him and enjoyment or not enjoyment. I'm talking about his identity. Who is he? He's a rap singer. I think he's one of the general artists. Oh, oh, yeah, the general artist. Maybe he's pop. Okay. Yeah, anyone, just throw it, yeah. Well, the game's still new, I think I'm going to find out. Like, yeah. And you know, a lot of the time, right, artists actually, artists that have gone as far as he has gone in terms of they're allowed to come as something else, yeah. then they start changing. Like, like, many American artists do this, so why are we complaining? Yeah. Like, so it's different when they, maybe if they just did two songs, okay, so one song is a rap, one song is a hip-hop, but he's done a few songs, songs and rap. then now he's like, okay, let me branch out. Okay, Definitely, that's what I'm saying. Without even going to America, he's allowed, he's allowed to do whatever he likes. Exactly. I'm going to love it. Exactly. We're just going to love it <laughs> because we're, we're, we're loyal to him in every way. I don't know how, but we're very loyal to him. And whatever he is, I'm to whatever it is, all that guy. Of course, 2017 had so many artists that came up, did amazing, amazingly. There were either people that were hiding behind the scenes that actually came to the forefront this year. And we can't leave this place without actually recognizing them. We had Tenor, Mr. Leo, Slash Belly, Mims, Daphne. Oh God, there are just so many. But what do you have to say though? How do you think 2017 and the artists? Can I first say that amazingly, by right, his opinion? Because, okay. you know, not everybody thinks that everybody was so amazing. Okay? That's just the first thing. Not throwing shade to anybody in particular. However, there are some who did more amazing than others. And so, yeah. it's, just, it's just the truth. Okay, and yeah, don't hold me to it. It's just the truth. <laughs> okay. Some did more amazing than others. But then, at the same time, we don't we don't knock anybody's hustle. So. Okay. Are you? Well, I think, yeah. like we're saying, there are a lot of breakout artists this year. And, um, can you name a few? You just said um, Tenno, Blanche. Okay. We said you were going to break out artists. But um, hopefully, next of this year, I think, uh, hopefully, we get some different sides of the content. I was actually somewhere and doing that whole thing. Everyday Blanche thinks about getting married. Like, whoever our boyfriend is, you can tell. Okay. She better do something. I think she said married. she doesn't have. Isn't that what she said on her? That she doesn't have a boyfriend. That it's just a breakup. Why is she really strong. doesn't have a boyfriend? Like, really? So, what, no, what are you waiting for? Dude? Blanche. I don't know what to make my speech to Blanche. I'm coming Blanche. Listen. I think the content of a song, like, I don't want to be like, I'm Okay, it's like always about marriage yeah, and stuff. Like, I want to get married. Like, I want to get married. I'm going to get married. I'm going to get married. I'm going to get married. No, 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 if, if you're not getting married yet, it's okay. Just yeah. the men are coming. They're okay. coming. Steph is coming. 
It's coming Blanche. No, I like two girls, but man, Blanche spreads guy down. Like, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> no, don't say that. Don't say that. No, 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 no. You think I'm a cat? It's okay. <laughs> Blanche is fresh like August corn. Like what? Like what? Like August corn. Like August corn. Blanche is what? August corn, as in next August. August the last August corn. Like generally, May. May August corn is fresh. Yes. Like August, August corn. That's in Blanche. How that French is so? Blanche. Okay, so Blanche. Look, everybody has their taste, okay? We'll just leave it at that. Everybody has their taste. No, I'm my taste. For you, she could be August corn. For you, she could be last year's corn. So, I don't know. Blanche, you're my taste. Okay, okay. I think we have had a lot of these excessive stories and stuff, but we're about to close things. And before we do, I need to actually wait. So that's two jig equals to five hundred jig. I don't know. My sister says she's getting one. No. So let's hopefully no. see. <laughs> this is it. In the ancient technology. Salah technology. Let's go watch Ivo Capital. But then I said the news. Like, like, it's totally okay if the yeah. government wants to give us a 32 G. Yes. And we can save our documents inside files and stuff. Yeah. And fact, we have files and kilobytes. Yeah, exactly. yeah, right. yeah, right. yeah, 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 he has been serious. He's a serious man. He's a professor. He's a serious man. He's a serious man. He's a professor. Let's call boys. What's up? Guys, that just shows you that not everything professors say you must listen to. Not everything that they say. By the way, this was Karawa Diary. The talk. And we're going to be having this subsequently. So right now, before we shut it down, I was in the company of... Tell me if you're ready or you're not. My man, Stepando. Mm. And Jojo <laughs> and Silva, I call her Silva, man. This is Silvia, like oh, the baddest voice, and you have the biggest <laughs> DJ on planet Earth right now. Hello, uh, I don't need to ask you. <laughs> and I know we're going to give you, and that's it for, for today. I hope that we're going to have another edition. This is our first edition, and we're going to turn this over and over again for you. This is a little dose of what's happening and what's not. I'm sugar. You better walk before you flex. Not a program, dad. Not a program, dad. Not a program, dad. I done the hustle with my team. Not a program, dad. Cause time no day. Not a problem, dad.